Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. It's been a hell of a crap storm following the arrest of controversial figure Andrew Tate that happened shortly after the showdown between quote Top G versus Top G, as some have put it on social media. And apparently there's more to this, conflating reports and speculations on what really happened. And rapper Cardi B took some time to shade Andrew Tate after his predicament. More on this in a bit. Today we also have more on Eminem from rapper Nocturno, who's worked with Dre and Ye in the past. Many remember his contributions on Dre's 2001 album, and in a recent interview he spoke on Eminem that echoes what many other associates have revealed so far, and we'll get to more on this in a bit. Today we also have more on Royce the 5'9 that sparked speculations of new music on the way, and before we dive into the details, timestamps are available in the description for the topics today. So Royce shared this a few hours ago on IG with the caption, focusing on me, I'll be back 23. Some say this is probably new music and a tour on the way next year, and just recently on this channel, we got a notification for a song Royce previewed on IG a while back. It got claimed, so perhaps there's more to that snippet, make of that what you will. Moving on, rapper Nocturnal recently spoke about Eminem that sparked reactions accordingly. And first he spoke about Eminem's work ethics. Eminem's a good dude, you know? He's been through a lot, but you gotta always try to keep it together. And Eminem has always been a jokester. Fun dude to be around, you know what I mean? And you gotta understand that he had to work 10 times harder than any African American in this business because he was white. So he had to work harder than us. He had to prove himself, you know what I mean? And people don't understand that. Eminem is a workaholic, and then the craziest thing is that Eminem is a die-hard true person, where if he care about you, he give a f about you, if he don't, he don't. And then he shared a story from back in the day about Eminem during Dre's 2001 album tour. He added, like even on the Chronic 2001 tour, I was joking, I was like Eminem, you taking all the guarding tools, I can't even get no guarding tools, because you got his song out right now. Eminem is on Dr. Dre album, you got a song out right now, give me one of them blow up dolls you'll be on stage with, I think he already stole a couple of them. Eminem be having fun, like yeah, he's a jokester, but you gotta get to know people, understand the pain and different things that they've been through. It's quite interesting because even some vocal Eminem quote haters in the past have admitted, in their own way, the fact that Eminem's work ethics and talent can't be questioned. This was after music to be murdered by dropped from Ebro. Eminem treats rap how black folks have had to treat life be five times better, work five times harder than everyone, and still not necessarily get respect. But this interview brought out the usual suspect, as everyone who speaks about Eminem's work ethics positively must be some race traitor, according to some. Even Tony Yeo spoke about this criticism they had to go through in the past just for speaking the truth about Eminem, and now some have expanded in response to Nocturno. And M debuted after Vanilla Ice, so he had to work harder because Vanilla Ice ruined the reputation of white rappers in hip hop. So M had to rebuild the reputation of white rappers so future white rappers like Mac Miller can be taken seriously in hip hop. Another user added, M still has to prove himself, shake my head. Here's a quick summary of the Andrew Tate vs Greta showdown moments before he got arrested. He trolled her with a post about having 33 cars and asked for her email. She clapped back with her email address at smallknobenergy at getalife.com. This came with a huge ratio, over 3.5 million likes, Tate clapped back with a video, and that reportedly got him in trouble. Though this is disputed right now, but early reports claim the pizza box exposed his location that led to his arrest, and this sparked viral posts like Andrew Tate snitched on himself after getting ratioed by Greta Thunberg laughing emojis. And before we get to some spicy takes on this whole thing, Cardi B took some time to clown him in response to this report. Andrew Tate and his brother have been arrested in Romania in human trafficking investigation. She responded with, well, well, well. But while many were clowning Tate under, Cardi B was also getting some hands, as some believe she's in no position to clown him. You don't have much room to talk. And this user added a screenshot of her report on Cardi. Cardi B explains why she dragged and robbed men. And to her critics, Cardi B dropped a picture of Greta and added the caption, I don't care. But apparently there's more to this. Some believe Tate's arrest had nothing to do with the pizza box, though Greta didn't waste no time to clown Tate for that. This is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. And now some have added clips of Andrew Tate claiming that this was gonna happen beforehand. 
Tate said this was gonna happen. We will see. I don't have any more facts on this situation, and I'm not gonna speculate. Every single organization on the face of the planet is corrupt. This is why I say to people, I say, listen, and I'm gonna say this on this podcast now because I say it on every other one. I would never ever... I truly believe they're gonna come and they're gonna try and kill me on a long enough time frame because they tried to shut me up and I won't shut up. They're either gonna try and put me in jail or they're gonna kill me and I would never kill under any circumstances ever. A few days ago, it was Andrew Tate versus Eminem fans and now it's Tate versus Cardi B and Greta. And here's the last tweet from Andrew Tate after his arrest that's approaching 500,000 likes right now. The Matrix sent their agents. What are your thoughts? Tell us below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and see you on the next one.